Hello and welcome. Right, I have started the engine and we are, yep, yeah, putting this to be in. I'm going to crack on with this and the parsnip field, so as that is a lot to do, I'm going to say my words. I'm going to see you guys and gals on the other side.
Yeah, a bit worried about that now, because I thought it might just be settled down after the session, but it's not. So we're going to grab all of those that are out already um, and see if... No, it should drop out already. The only thing I'm thinking is... Obviously, we did put the um, the pusher mod. Now, mods don't always like other mods. Now, I know they should, but this is a new mod. So, the pusher's doing its job, but how do we know that it's not affecting that? So, with that in mind, let's just do that first. Yeah. And this time, though, I am going to give myself the extra money back. Yeah, because I can't keep doing this. You know, I mean, I know it's it's only 250, but what I mean is, it's, you've got to be careful with this type of thing because we're not doing this for any other reason. We've got the full amount back for that, and now let's unload that. Now, I'm glad we've got the proper dovetail on this now. So, so really, uh, trying to think the best way. I always think is well now. Now that I've learned, I think. But that is the best way. It's like almost at right angles. So let's get these loaded. And I'd like to hope to get to the bottom of this this session. Hope to. If we do all of this, I think there's a little bit probably enough for one month. Yeah, there's 1,000. Ah, oh, that's saying there's some in there. So why is that not actually popping then? It's all on spawn, isn't it? I'm sure it is. We looked earlier. I'm sure I saw everything was on spawning. Yeah, apart from potato soup, which we haven't actually done yet. Now, if I have got to remove and re-add it, if something's gone wrong with it in the interim, then obviously I'm going to give myself full value, because all we're going to do is put it back down again. So that's a mechanics issue, rather than me stuffing up or something like that, really. So let's, let's get these. We need to get full. I'm quite enjoying using these. They really are very good fun. Only, as I said, really is tr true. Level would be there, and that's not quite low enough to go in the thing. Now, with these, there is a little hiccup moment where it does a little hiccup when it grabs the... Yeah, like that. That's when it's got them. Before that, it hasn't. Ooh, we appear to have... Oh, dear. I apologise for this because it's picked up another one. It's a little bit special. Uh, how can I do this without... Yeah, I am right, I should. I've got to be careful, because the other one... Ah, okay, yeah. It's weird things are happening. Weird things are happening. Nothing's perfect. It is good, though. Very good. So, but we have to be careful. I can't faff around, otherwise it does weird things. Yeah, where it comes through the back plane of the thing and looks awful. So it's got nowhere and then release properly. We'll stick some on the other side. Wants to be on the right hand side of the fork if I'm going around the other side. I'm trying to get this right in my head. Yeah, but we could do another set on here as well. But we're going to need to... Uh, no, not really. We need to actually stick that in first. Otherwise, you can't stick anything on top. Because we've got to be careful with trying to leave a bit of space for myself. And that's ruined the loading area sort of thing, really. So, you know, if we do this... Should... Of course, I've got lots of stuff in the way. Of course, I have. Now, the tree's going to be in the way a little. One is going to drop into that hole, isn't it, really? Unless I'm clever and I fill the hole before we do it. Yeah, we move. I know what. Yes, that would work. I know what I'm thinking. Move that one along a little. 
lateral thinking, lateral thinking. I enjoyed that, that uh, shifting of the stuff in that way, it's about as realistic as I can possibly get it with the equipment that we've got. And I think that's not far off, really. set of four that are prop almost right. So leave those two odd ones and go for... There seems to be more level on this left hand side than they are on the right. So let's try and get a set of four without going to the right, you know, like, so I miss that set, otherwise it, it does cause mayhem, as we just saw, yeah, it causes, uh, no, no, it's not done its little hiccup, still not done its little hiccup, still not done its little hiccup, which means it's not doing it right, I can't, it's, the angle is a little bit too tall, yeah, you see what I mean. It doesn't do that. If it doesn't do that, you 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 basically you've not got them. That that's it. That's now it's got them. It's knowing that information is so important. Now, if we we what we should do, as bad as it is in a way, is push that single one onto the floor at the back. Otherwise, we're going to run out of space. Because we do need at least two abreast to actually get this lot on. So, if I had the extension, I might actually just about do it, actually. It, it, you can almost do it as three abreast. I was looking at this. So, really, actually, that's we could actually do that. But, I mean, it's a bit difficult to do it normally. But, yeah, in situations like that, that's not a bad thing. With the extensions, you'd be able to probably double stack. Sorry, yeah, you know, width-wise as well as height. Right now, then. So, if we leave this one more day till tomorrow morning, what we'll do is grab the last remnants out of this. I'd like to, before the sessions close, try to fix this issue by re putting it down, if that is the case. Because for once, obviously, it's fairly tidy. Sacks thought we've got hundreds of tons of products in, so it's a little bit more. Yeah, now we need to. Let's see, can we get it to hiccup? Yes, we can. Fantastic. What's three? Uh, the one on the left hasn't hiccuped. it did then. There we go. Very clever way of letting you know that it is actually done and I like that. But it's just one of the most clever bits of kit I've ever seen. Who is the modder? Let's just, yeah, who is the modder? I know I've said it but it needs to stick in my head. It is Dutch Modding Inc. Well Dutch Modding Inc, you've done a cracking job of this. It really is a for a standard bit of kit, it's got so much going on, it's unbelievable. It's so much so that I am really, I don't mind using this at all. I know on Rogue River Valley I discovered it and then I sort of went back to... Uh, well, I mean, yeah, obviously there are some situations where this really isn't going to solve your problems. So, so we could... Single one out of the way, and it could go on the top of the other. Yeah, see what I mean? No hiccup, no grab. Okay, put um, put on the weight. Let's see. Got to release the weight. Aha, see, now we've got it. 
the system, hit go. We're good to go. So let's stick that on top of those, and then we can grab that other set of four. Well, there will be four when we put them together. Yeah. Let's stick that. I do love the fact this can really nicely manage. This is a beautiful skid steer as well. It really is. If I'm not able to afford a telehandler, this is the way I'm going to go. It's beautiful. Another one by Black Sheep Body. Ah, brilliant. I did catch it. Fantastic. So, if we've got the front set first and then the back set, we should be pretty much cooking on gas until tomorrow morning, where hopefully the last little bit, if it works. If not, I'll, we just have to sort of put an H2 Studios, a bit of, do a little bit of school drudgery, put the amount back into the new one without paying for it. Yeah, put, you know, because obviously we've, we have put it in, we can't get the input out in the easiest way, but yeah, something's not quite right. Aha, really nice done it. Fantastic. Love the way it steers. Say so the only thing that's bad about it is it's a bit slow, but you know, you just do what we've done really. The thing is that Mr. CLP has often done that on his let's plays where he used to stick one of these on the back of things. Um, so yeah, it's a fantastic I don't know, thing when it's a bit lower. We do indeed. It's a really It's not happy. Yet yeah, now it has. Amazing, really is it? Simple, but uh, which really we humans need. Really, it's yeah. The more complex it goes, the more it doesn't stick in your head. Right. out a little bit as well uh, and we want to do that a little bit although I don't really know I'm, I think I'm thinking of mod clashes and all sorts of stuff like that now the talking of mod clashes that back doesn't like carrots I thought it was that because I've used that before obviously with that uh, Holzer's uh, lorry the 1313 pack I've used that quite a lot and have never seen that kind of reaction and then I thought it's it's not it's not reacting to the back it's reacting anytime you go near carrots or parsnips or red beets yeah it's still certain things aren't quite happy yet with it are they so yeah there'll be a bit of probably some sort of adjustment before everything settles down nicely right so then we still got a little bit in here is that running though still did I switch them off no active productions. No, wrong one. It's that one there. Yeah, let's have a look. Because I, did I switch them off? I did. So I need to stick that on, that on, that on, and that on. See, it says material's missing, and yet it's not. It's almost like that's... I'm going to take a screenshot of that. That way I don't need to faff around with anything. Right, so it looks like it has actually gone wrong. Yeah, it really has gone wrong. So, in that case, what we'll do is we'll literally sell it and give ourselves the money back completely. Sell 97425. Sell. Yes. Oh, so it did. Oh, so it, it did. I was right. We looked, there was a lot of product left, and it's like it disappeared a ton of product. So we've got the money back. Now I know it's. What were we short though? So it's 97,000, and it is how much to actually place it. Yeah, because we shouldn't have needed to do that, obviously. But do we save the game now before we do this? 135, so it, it took 35. 36, 37, th say 37, I don't care if about the odd ones. So, add 37,000 so we can place it at proper cost. At least we got reimbursed for our 
product that really does make me happy now it still is the best place to go but we are going to save it it's true a sensible thing we does acknowledge the fact that we are playing a game because this could still go wrong it might still not accept yeah because if the ground layer goes wrong and it's sort of although i think we'll have cleared that when we when the it sold the product whatever had gone wrong where they, they were lost in translation then i think that's obviously yeah we've sorted that with doing what we uh, did zup 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 i love that i think that's quite amazing Ah, now that doesn't overlap. It should go perfectly. But I don't want it to go, which seemed more to the left before. But, yeah, looking at that. But for some reason, it doesn't like something. Or the tree, or did we do it with V-mode? I mean, giants always do say. Yeah, uh, that could be me that it's overlapping with. It's happy that almost flat. Almost now, then, moment of truth. Will this accept products again? Well, actually, this has never had products in it, but you know what I mean. Yeah, can we fix this glitch and get back to business? Well, at least we're reimbursed for the products. Of course, when I say that, it's lost product which is valuable to us. I mean, we've been reimbursed for the base product. What I'm trying to say is, to us, it was worth an awful lot more. Because oh yeah, this is true. Oh, that is a true. Yeah, I've never been, never seen this in a, a silo before. Oh, what? Oh, we can put it in, but we can't. Oh, no, no, we can get to it. Oh, thank goodness for that. I thought for one minute it lost it, and I thought I had a horrible sinking feeling that it sold this. You know, stuff at the silo, and I thought. Please tell me that that's not true because there's an awful lot of money's worth in if just of this. Really. Hooray! Fantastic. Alright, switch those back on then. Oh, the things you have to do. Right, so we'll triple suit, carrot suit, parsnip repeat. And we may as well stick. No, because we've wasted money. As Marty always sort of did say, it's true. It does waste cash. I'm so glad we sorted that out. And also, we made a bit of profit on selling the, the, the obviously the goods, but which really we would never do, obviously. Uh, yeah, we can stick the whole lot in. And if this is going to go wrong regularly, say it's it's new, I'm not having a moan either. I, I am and I'm not, if you know what I mean. I am I'm acknowledging there's a fault, but I'm not going to. Yeah. It's it's. I am actually getting used to things like this. That, that almost to the point where I expect problems and um, I think that shows a little bit of growth as a, as a player I'm going to say not as a content creator as a player because I'd, I'd get do easily get stressed with things that don't with I never have liked things that don't that do go wrong it's always bad and I'm a bit panicky I've always been a bit like that so it's nice um, we still we did do well so the only thing we're a little bit short on is the parsnips, which we knew, and that it'll just stop making triple soup like it did the red beet. It did show though how much the the bonus on the little field, because these those two fields aren't far off. We got a much more. Yeah, let me show you. We'll just yeah, if you look at right right at the bottom. So if we click on the slider at the bottom, uh, it's right at the bottom, isn't it? Yeah. We only got 103 tons. We actually got 100. Pretty much the bonus. The fields were almost. If you look on the map, size-wise, I don't know if it will show you on a. I appear to have lost my mouse. That's better. Not that you'll see it, but that's not really what I'm getting at. If you look at CP2 and CP3, they are not far off. Does it show you value? 0.41. Ah, uh, that shows the whole... Yes, I don't think they've the much difference, but the difference was the bonus. Yeah, we're 130 tonnes, so it was extra 30 tonnes-ish. Just goes to show how much bonus you do get from that 25% bonus. I mean, I know we all can see it's 25%, but what I mean is it shows... 
physically that there is a difference. I like that. And you prove to your own mind that something's right, as it says on the tin. It's important. Because especially the times we live in, many people make many promises and we are the best. Our product is better than everybody else's. Um, and most of it's just wind addressing, really. The amount of claims, products that we all buy that is, say that they're the super products and we'll rebuild your skin and <laughs> all sorts of weird and wonderful products out there that really do not deliver and somehow get away with it. So it's, uh, yeah, we should actually do all of this and then we'll do the rest. Yeah, of course, we, I know we, we double handle, but in this instance, it, it was obvious that something really was not right. And I thought, well, if you stick, if you manage to get something in here, you're only going to waste it anyway. So, but I did know, I remember seeing in editing that we'd still got hundreds of tons of products. So it's yeah, it's not surprising we did get paid a, a considerable amount. Obviously, it's very poor payment. We have lost a lot of business, that's what I'm trying to say. Although we got the money back, it's product we've lost that we can't make into soup anymore. But, can't complain because we were reimbursed for the base product. That's that's my point. Oh, where's the... Oh, please don't tell me you did sell the rest of the stuff in here somehow. Oh, that's weird. It's sort of... You have to go all the way around to get to the next one that should be right next door. Oh, well. Yeah, we just obviously just have to... Thank you very much for watching. I hope you're going to stick with me on this journey. And as always, as fellow shareholders on the farm, I always love to hear from you. And goodbye for now.